our business was always built by selling tools to the creators. We didn't focus on building a business around um, the audience because the only business model available was advertising. And, and that was not something that we felt, um, frankly, the world needed another version of. But with the release of a new product um, just about two years ago called Vimeo On Demand, uh, we now allow any upload or any creator to sell content however they wish. Vimeo, the video sharing website, has always stressed quality, which has attracted the attention of filmmakers and video enthusiasts alike. But under the leadership of Kerry Trainer, who became CEO just three years ago, the company is now trying to get users to pay for some of its content. If YouTube, if you will, is sort of the open internet version of broadcast television, right? It's mass, it's free to consume, it's supported by advertising. Vimeo is building the open internet version of premium cable, the open HBO, um, if you want to look at it that way. But Vimeo is tiny compared to YouTube, which has more than a billion users and commands nearly 69% of the U.S. online video market. Vimeo's market share is less than 1%. And of its 35 million registered users, 500,000 are paid subscribers. In an effort to boost that figure, Vimeo is adding more exclusive content, including two scripted series from YouTube. And according to the man leading that effort, Greg Clayman, that's gotten the attention of content producers. In addition, over the past year, Vimeo lured several high-profile YouTube stars by helping them cash in on their fame. Is If you've got a million followers on YouTube, two million followers on YouTube, you know, to get 10, 20, 30,000 people who are willing to spend $10 for something, you can make one, two, three hundred thousand dollars um, off of that you know, one piece of content. Uh, and that's a pretty compelling offer to a lot of uh, YouTube creators. Vimeo has also invested in original programming. Its first series, High Maintenance, was just picked up by HBO. So with HBO picking up high maintenance, um, you know, to us, it's really it really brings the story full circle, um, and and it really proves, um, you know, just how amazing um, the type of content that's being produced on the web is for it to go, um, you know, to what we all consider the gold standard of of television programming. Vimeo is also very focused on mobile. About half of its visitors now access the site from their smartphones. One of the things that, that we're very excited about from our own perspective is, um, particularly with the Vimeo On Demand experience, the ability to purchase content uh, on the mobile device is, is just as simple as it is on the desktop. And um, I think one of the uh, critical parts is you can purchase a piece of content from any device and you can watch it from any device. So you can buy something on your phone, um, go home, watch it on your television. You can buy something from your computer, watch it on your phone. And you know, we feel like we're, we're very well positioned um, for that emerging world. Since Trainer joined the company in 2012, growth has soared. The number of employees has more than tripled. And the business has matured since Barry Diller's IAC Interactive bought Vimeo back in 2006. The emergence of this paid viewer opportunity of the Vimeo On Demand service um, is really the whole second stage of the opportunity, and that is just getting started. Is that the future? It will really be the combination of free ad-supported experiences along with paid experiences is what the future is going to be because that's what video already looks like.